Hey, is there, you ready to go to the doctor? You ready to go? <laughs> so we are headed to take Ezra to the doctor. We've been struggling to try and find a balance with medication for him, for his ADHD and autism and apraxia, all these things, um, because he has so much energy and is just so wild off the wall. Uh, without medication that he has trouble I think focusing and learning and um, I mean we've tried a couple different medications and stuff and it's it's always like it, it's either one or the other it seems like he once he takes the medication he is like very very um, just no energy, no emotion, no smiles, no happy Ezra that he normally is. So when Ezra takes the medicine that he is on now, that he was prescribed by a different doctor, it makes him super sad sometimes, but then sometimes he'll have good days um, where he can focus better and he'll still be happy. And then some days the medicine will cause him to like, be so tired that he'll fall asleep in the middle of the day during therapy. So right now, Adam and I are both taking Ezra to a new doctor to go discuss options about different medications and see what that person's opinion is on this. I feel like whenever you try and get meds to help you with something, it's you usually have to try different ones. You usually have to try different amounts and it's, it's a journey and we're on that journey right now. Ezra, you took off your shoes already. <laughs> he took off his shoes. <laughs> Somewhere, so yeah. Push button. Push button. Here. Do it. Ready? Go. Please put in the comments what you think about medication. Have you had good experiences or bad? We'd love to hear your opinion. As soon as we get there, Ezra runs for the exit. I didn't even know there was an exit here. He almost succeeds in escaping. It's a good thing daddy's faster than him. And now it's time to wait in the waiting room. Sometimes waiting's hard. to wait some more in this room. Ah! We used to live in an RV with all five kids visiting the national parks in the USA. We post daily of our unique normal. Please consider subscribing. And we finally get to see the pediatric yeah, so psychiatrist. First, and then take the medication, then eat lunch. First, then take the medication. Ah! So they're more likely to be willing to eat those meals. They're less likely to have that appetite yeah, suppression. Yeah, that's what we do. First. Is we feed them as much as we can for breakfast before we get them medicine. And then, and then the hope would be that that would, would be helpful for lunch because the medicine should be effectively out of his system by then. Yeah. Although I'm hearing you that you know even if the medicine's out. Of something back there mm, yeah lots of things lots you've of thrown things. wanted to know what you know our main concerns were and stuff and so we talked a lot about that and we got him on a similar medicine but it's a little different and 
it's going to be um, like instead of one dose, it's going to be like several doses throughout the day. We're going to try that. So yeah, I think it'll be better because the doses are less uh, potent. So there won't be hopefully as much of a crash when he comes off and also just the ability to just do more and more frequently and especially with his metabolism I think as quickly as it works <laughs> um, I think this will work better hopefully so be good yep you had a lot of fun tearing up that guy's office huh you just wanted his books here you got his shoes off <laughs> Who needs shoes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he actually took one of his shoes and threw it off Niagara Falls. You'll see that video here if you want. It's a fun one. It's memorable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're sure yawning a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You've yawned like three times in this video. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired too. Uh, waking up 5.30 to go work out. Working out all day and staying up till late doing videos just can't keep adding up <laughs> the Maybe next day not easy, huh? yeah. so this is Ezra before his medication here we go here we go ready waiting is not easy <laughs> Gerald ah! I have a surprise for you what is it what is it Ezra <laughs> And his daddy's trying to read him a book, waiting is not easy. But it's not going as planned. It's a big surprise! Yes. Is it pretty? Is it pretty, Ezra? Is it pretty? Come let's read a book. That's right. We already have enough books. Come here. Let's read the book. I cannot wait. He'd much rather give his daddy his shoes. Oh, sweet Ezra. You don't want to read the book? He's going to put it back now. Meanwhile, Simon is just cuddling with me. Hi. And this is Ezra about 30 minutes after his meds. Ezra, do you want to get a book? Should we get a book? Can we read a book now? Can we read a book? Can we go get a book? Can we get a book? I think I can book. Good job. You can bring it to daddy. Let's read it. You ready? Let's read it. Yeah. Waiting is not easy, but it's easier when we have medication, huh? Gerald, I have a surprise for you. Yay, what is it? Can we share it? Yes. I cannot wait. In turn? Good job. So I will have to wait for it? Yes. Okay, turn the page. I'm waiting. Can you turn the page? Waiting is not easy. I'm oh, gonna turn again and again. Grown. I'm done waiting. You all done or do you do more? You all done with that one? As for the medication, we're still trying it out and we'll keep you updated on how it goes. And here's the video when Simon puts something up his nose. We can't figure out what it is and we have to take him to an emergency doctor visit. That video's right here. And our autism playlist is here.